फाइव सेकेंड स्टार्ट सर आई राइज टू सपोर्ट द डिमांड फॉर ग्रांट ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट द ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंटेक्चुअल एंड एक्सपीरियंसड पर्सन इन द फील्ड ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड इज वेल अवेयर ऑफ द नीड फॉर डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमन पोटेंशियल इन द एरियाज ऑफ एजुकेशन यूथ वुमेन एंड चिल्ड्रेन द एलोकेशन ऑफ फंड्स फॉर द वेरियस एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द फोर डिपार्टमेंट्स विच कॉन्स्टिट्यूट हिज मिनिस्ट्री इज नो डाउट इन लाइन विद देयर रिक्वायरमेंट्स अबाउट विच आई हैव नथिंग टू से my only humble request to the ministry is that he should carry out an appraisal of the working of his ministry to find out if the purpose for which the money has been spent has really been achieved commensurate with the amount spent to me it seems that a lot more requires to be done in this respect so that the fruits of quality education reach right down to the poorest of the poor and the socially and economically backward classes the purpose of good education is to make one really knowledgeable and respectable citizen of this country so that he is able to stand on his own feet and live a decent life character building plays an important role in this direction and has to be given its due place in education it must be understood that good education is the foundation for nation's progress and unless this foundation is made strong and everlasting no structure constructed on it will stand firm and erect therefore we must endeavor to provide quality education to all sections of the society with particular emphasis on promotion and development of fundamental values like character building national integrity secularism focus on environmental and population education and so on it is all the more important that the socially and economically backward classes who form the bulk of our population are drawn into the main stream of educational activities so that they also contribute their might to the nation's prosperity unfortunately this point seems to have escaped the attention in this year's budget although there was a mention of it in the last year's budget the honorable minister himself is dedicated to the cause of education and there is hardly anything more that i can tell him nevertheless i feel that a time has come for us to act and if we miss this opportunity we may repent for a long time to come considering the deterioration in the moral standard of the society today special emphasis has to be led on character building in our educational system 
children being more amenable to changes character building should start for them right from the anganwadi classes up to ssc classes if children are constantly told about what is good for the country and also what is good for them it will have a great impact on them the help of anganwadi workers who do not have work in the evening can be taken to coach children of first and second standards by telling them stories of great people and their work this could be supplemented by giving them books depicting the lives of great men and their noble deeds for reading at home on which questions can be asked next day during coaching once a week audio visual presentation can be arranged on the lives and noble deeds of great men i am sure this will have the desired effect much more faster with all the money that is spent on education who are the people who really get the benefits if we ponder over this aspect we will find that it is the affluent few and those where both husband and wife are working who are able to reap the benefits because they have all the money with them to get whatever they want they can send their children to the best schools by costly books and aids arrange special tuitions and send them to special coaching classes to score good marks in competitive exams even if these children fail to get admissions to professional courses their parents can always pay capitation fees and have them admitted but what happens to sc st and other economically and socially backward students they just do not have the right type of atmosphere at home which will motivate them to go to schools and study their parents themselves being illiterate and poor would prefer their children to help them in their work and earn money rather than spend time on studies under the circumstances it would be nearly impossible for such students to compete with the city students and get admission to prestigious courses therefore i submit that the need of the day is to set up residential schools for sc st and other socially and economically weaker students on 50 50 basis these schools should provide free secondary education and also free boarding and lodging facilities strict discipline should be maintained in these schools and greater emphasis should be laid on character building hard work and dedication love and respect for the country stop